Hey everybody, I wanted to come and show you how to do a tie-dyed like um, sublimation t-shirt. Um, I'm just going to get started right into it. Um, so I take my t-shirt and just like you would when you're doing regular sublimation, now this is a 4X shirt that I'm going to do it on, so it's a fairly large shirt. Um, just go ahead and lint roll the entire thing like you would for your regular sub shirts. Um, I put it down. I have this handy dandy tool. I take it and clamp it in the middle and then just twist it to get it started. And you'll see that it'll start curling up by itself. My heat press is already um, at 400 degrees. The only thing I didn't do was adjust my pressure um, because I forgot. So you just twist it. You could also do this with your hand. You know, you take it and just twist. And then I untwist a little just to take the tool out and then adjust um, a little by little where I think that it may need adjusting. Um, I have my butcher paper down. I'm going to transport, transfer it to the press. You see it's, it's nice and tight. I'll just transfer it to my press like this. And because I didn't already adjust my pressure, I'm going to do that now. good. So doing this tie-dye with two different colors, um, it's pretty much like printing a purge sheet, but I do the entire page. Now this is 13 by 19. So take your 13 by 19 paper, set it on top of there, take your butcher paper, stick it over the top, probably could have been a little tighter, but that's okay. 60 seconds, we'll be back. You got five seconds left. I take off. This, this one right here, the, the purge sheet I take off and you can see the outline of the shirt. Recycle that. I take a, a new sheet because this is pretty hot. I grab the top and the bottom and carefully place it back on there. I will slide the new sheet back out, adjust a little bit if you think it needs adjusting. It's pretty flat, it, it didn't move too much, the, the ends move. I'll take my other purge sheet and make sure it covers the entire image, I mean the entire shirt. Take that fresh sheet. And put it back press that for another 60 seconds and I don't know how to edit videos so I just paused you guys and we're done with that. 
apart. Take both of those off. I let it cool down for a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see the steam coming out of there. But it's hot. Very, very hot. Throw those in the recycle bin. And I take it off of here. Bring it to my table. See if I can zoom in. I'm not sure. Oh, I can. I want you guys to see how it turns out. Um, put my fresh sheet down because I do have an image that's going on top of this. I'll show you in a second. Let me zoom back out. There we go. So if you just wanted to keep it like this or add different colors, that's the front, this is the back. And I put it back on my press. And then we have to readjust the pressure. See a little couple fuzzies. So I gotta readjust my pressure. Actually, the shirt's facing the wrong way. Because my image is long, not wide. Mm. Take my fresh sheet. I want to get the wrinkles out before I press this. Not enough pressure. too much pressure. I just want to get the wrinkles out. It's like three to five seconds to get the wrinkles out. Um, this is my image. And we're going to go and place it in the center. another 60 seconds and if you notice I don't just pull up because then it'll pop and my image can shift I push down on it a little bit and bring it up my my um, image should be completed and it's done Thanks for watching.